Hey guys, welcome back to Reading the Decades with me. Um, welcome back to another book haul. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting quite a bit excited lately with buying books because obviously there were so many books coming out recently that I also had on my wish list for this year. I couldn't buy books for a long time because I had my um my bank card got expired and I needed a new one and that took over a month I think so um <laughs> didn't have access to my money so I couldn't buy books basically um I stayed went and got a few books um I quite got a very very nice selection oh I love the sun isn't it <laughs> um I got quite a very nice selection um I do to sit here um yeah and I, I really wish I got got these five books and I have to hold them here so they're not blurred out by the sun so I got these five books here which I'm really excited for the first one is on swift horses by Janet Pofar and this is the most amazing, most beautiful cover ever. Oh, look at those colours. I'm so in love with that one. And this is a horse story. <laughs> a horse story for adults. Um, I always loved horses. And when I was a child, I read so, so many horse stories. Um, and this one, I think it is set in the 1950s. I, it's about Muriel newly married restless and uprooted from her Kansas hometown Spencer days waiting tables in a San Diego diner eavesdropping on her ex jockeys who prop up at the bar on swift horses is a mesmerizing story of revolution chance and the gambles we take with the human heart of two people trying to find their place in the country coming apart even as it promises them everything so yeah it sounds quite like um an after war story um, having new high hopes after the war um, yeah and it involves horses so I'm very excited for that one then that was my only hardcover from what I got um, then I got those four really short they are all quite short that I got like I got these four short paperbacks I got Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino, which is so short. <laughs> um, I read If a Traveller If a Traveller on a Winter's Night um, a year back now, I think, or half a year back. And I so, so loved that one. So um, I want, I decided to read more by Italo Calvino. So I decided to pick up Invisible Cities. In Invisible Cities, Marco Polo conjures up cities of magical times for his host, the Chinese ruler Kublai Khan, but it gradually becomes clear that he is actually describing one city, Venice. So I think that might be about perception of cities. It is structured into um, it's nine chapters basically, which are all structured into cities and memory, cities and desire cities and signs, sit, thin cities, trading cities, cities and eyes, cities and names, cities and the dead, cities and the sky, hidden cities, continuous cities. So um, yeah, so basically this is a reflection on cities and preserving cities, <laughs> perceiving cities. Um, yeah. A book I was curious about for since it came out basically is Max Porter's Grief is a Thing with Feathers, which is about um it's about two boys. Yeah, in a London flat, two young boys face the unbearable sadness of their mother's sudden death. Their father, a tattoo scholar and scruffy romantic, imagines a future of well meaning visitors and emptiness. So it also written in a prose poem, I think, which is really interesting. Which is really interesting, and I really got into prose poems just lately when I read a an, an anthology of prose poems. It's a very short one again. Um, it's very beautiful. 
Um, I bet it's a very, very dark, depressing story. I really started enjoying Asian literature, so I got The Vegetarian by Han Kang, which is quite a very well-known and respected novel. A darkly beautiful modern classic about rebellion, eroticism and the female body. One of the most extraordinary books you will ever read. I think that might go... I have to shift a bit. <laughs> I think that might go quite well with... Kim Ji-young, born 1982, that I've just read in February. Um, I think that plays into that as well, if it's about the female body and feminism. and I think it's about a woman who decides to become a vegetarian, which is quite of unheard of in her society. So there's the rebellion aspect, the aspect of gaining agency over your own body and making your own decisions. Um, yeah, and also it was the winner of the Man Booker International Prize in 2016, so it's around for quite a few years now, and I'm probably also the last one who's not read that yet. And then I got The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh, another book that was on my wish list basically since it, its release. It's about three sisters, I think and they grow up in kind of a cult their parents keep them quite secluded from the world and they live secluded i think on an island even in an abandoned hotel on a sun bleached island beside the poison sea yeah and then they have strangers coming to the island and um them being in contact with the outside world basically then and they start to think and start to reflect on their situation so it's also another book about coming to terms with your own identity and having agency over your own self so these are the books I got after um, I could go book shopping again nevertheless I still got lots of other books um, that I want to show you um, because I discovered that Tesco has actually um, the news releases for the best prices actually <laughs> so this is my little selection of books I got and um, I wish I could read them all in one weekend I, I basically could read them all in on one weekend if I was still single if I would still live on my own um, if I wouldn't film videos, if I would just do nothing but read them all. But they're all quite short, so I could read them all in one go, basically. But yeah, that's my little selection. And um, I hope I see you soon. Happy reading.